Hello, history buffs, time travelers, and scholars. Here are 25 absurd random history facts, and I bet you haven't heard a single one. The Dog Mayor. In 2012, the community of Idlewild, California, held an election to choose its first mayor, a role filled by a golden retriever named Max. This lovable dog quickly became a local icon, regularly appearing at community events and greeting residents with a warm canine charm. After Max's passing, his legacy was carried on by Maximus Mighty Dog Muller II, another golden retriever, who became the town's unofficial second mayor. Known as Mayor Max II, he served from 2013 until his death in 2022. The Goat That Was a Sergeant During World War I, a goat named Sergeant Bill served with Canadian soldiers. Bill was smuggled to the front lines by his regiment and became a mascot. He warned soldiers of enemy attacks by butting them to the ground, and once saved several men by headbutting them into a trench before a shell exploded. For his bravery, Sergeant Bill was promoted and awarded medals, becoming one of the few animals to receive military honors. The Eiffel Tower's secret apartment. Gustav Eiffel, the engineer who designed the Eiffel Tower, built a secret apartment for himself near the top. While most people weren't allowed inside, Eiffel would invite famous guests, like inventor Thomas Edison, to visit. The apartment was a cozy space, furnished with simple decor, and offered stunning views of Paris. Today, the apartment has been restored and is open for public viewing, giving visitors a glimpse into the private life of the man who created one of the world's most famous landmarks. President Taft got stuck in the bathtub. William Howard Taft, the 27th President of the United States, was a large man, weighing over 330 pounds. One day, he got stuck in the White House bathtub because it was too small for him. After this incident, a much bigger custom-made bathtub was installed. This new tub was so big it could hold four average-sized men at once. Taft's bathtub story became a famous part of his legacy, even though he had a successful political career. The Ban on Coffee in the 1600s, Sultan Murad IV of the Ottoman Empire banned coffee, tea, and tobacco because he thought they encouraged rebellion. He even made drinking coffee in public punishable by death. People caught breaking the law risked execution. Despite this harsh rule, coffee remained popular, and after Murad IV's death, his successors eventually lifted the ban. Coffee once again became a beloved drink in the Ottoman Empire and the cafe culture that started there still exists today. The Exploding Whale In 1970, a dead whale washed up on the Oregon coast. Local officials decided to blow it up with dynamite, thinking it would break into small pieces that birds could eat. The explosion went horribly wrong. Giant chunks of whale flew through the air, damaging cars and shocking spectators. The smell was terrible, and the whale pieces didn't even clean up well. It remains one of the most bizarre and smelly disposal methods ever attempted. The Red Telephone During the Cold War, a red telephone hotline connected the U.S. president and Soviet leader for emergencies. Surprisingly, it wasn't an actual phone. It was a teletype machine. It was installed after the Cuban Missile Crisis to prevent misunderstandings that could lead to nuclear war. Instead of speaking directly, messages were typed and sent across. The hotline has since been upgraded with modern technology, but the idea of a direct line between superpowers is still fascinating. The Great Stink of London In 1858, London's River Thames was so polluted with raw sewage that the city was overwhelmed by the stench, an event known as the Great Stink. The smell was so bad that Parliament considered relocating. The hot summer worsened the situation, making it unbearable. Finally, the government approved a massive sewer project that helped clean the river and improve the city's health. This crisis forced London to modernize its waste management system, which saved countless lives from diseases like cholera. The Eiffel Tower was almost torn down. After its construction in 1889, the Eiffel Tower was meant to be temporary. It was scheduled to be dismantled after 20 years because many Parisians disliked its design, calling it an eyesore. However, Gustave Eiffel convinced the government to keep the tower because it could be useful as a radio transmission tower. During World War I, the Eiffel Tower's radio antennas intercepted enemy communications, 
proving its value and securing its place as a permanent landmark in Paris. Emperor Nero's Singing Tournament Roman Emperor Nero loved performing and fancied himself a great singer. He once entered a singing contest, but no one dared to let him lose. Legend says Nero sang for hours, and the audience was forced to listen, with some pretending to faint, just to escape the performance. Of course, Nero won the contest. His obsession with his musical talents and forcing others to endure his shows became one of the many strange aspects of his reign. The Salty Roman Soldier The word salary comes from the Latin word salarium, which referred to the payment Roman soldiers received to buy salt. Salt was so valuable in ancient times that it was used as currency. Soldiers needed salt for preserving food, so it was a critical part of their pay. This is why we still use the term salary today, although most of us no longer need our wages to buy salt. The bird that changed history. During World War II, a carrier pigeon named Cher Ami saved nearly 200 US soldiers. The soldiers were trapped behind enemy lines and couldn't communicate their location. Cher Ami was sent to fly back with a message, even though she was injured by enemy fire. Despite being shot, she managed to deliver the message, allowing reinforcements to rescue the soldiers. Cher Ami became a war hero and was awarded honors for her bravery, proving that even a small bird can make a big difference. The Fake Radio War of 1938 In 1938, Orson Welles broadcast a radio drama based on the novel The War of the Worlds, but many listeners didn't realize it was fiction. The realistic broadcast described a Martian invasion, and some people panicked, thinking Earth was really under attack. Newspapers later exaggerated the extent of the panic, but the event remains a famous example of the power of media to create fear. Wells' broadcast is now legendary, though he hadn't intended to cause such a stir. Queen Elizabeth Rand's lead makeup. Queen Elizabeth. I was famous for her pale complexion, achieved using a makeup called Venetian Ceruse, made from white lead. This toxic substance gave her a ghostly white look, which was fashionable at the time. However, the lead caused serious health issues, including hair loss, skin damage, and potentially even contributing to her death. Despite the dangers, lead-based cosmetics were widely used in Elizabethan times, showing the lengths people would go to meet beauty standards. The Time It Rained Meat In 1876, residents of Bath County, Kentucky, witnessed a bizarre event. Chunks of raw meat fell from the sky. Known as the Kentucky Meat Shower, the mysterious meat chunks baffled locals. Scientists later speculated that the meat might have been vomited up by vultures flying overhead, but no one ever confirmed the exact cause. The event has since become one of the strangest weather-related mysteries in history, and the meat itself was reportedly identified as lung tissue from animals. Roman Emperor Caligula declared war on the sea. The Roman Emperor Caligula was known for his erratic behavior, but one of his strangest acts was declaring war on the sea. He ordered his soldiers to march to the shore and attack the ocean, commanding them to collect seashells as spoils of war. Caligula's bizarre battle against the sea is often cited as an example of his madness, and it's one of the many reasons he is remembered as one of Rome's most eccentric rulers. The Curse of the Hope Diamond The Hope Diamond, one of the most famous gems in the world, is said to carry a curse. Many of its owners have faced tragedy or misfortune, leading to the belief that the diamond brings bad luck. Among its owners were French King Louis XVI, who was executed during the French Revolution, and socialite Evelyn Walsh McLean, whose family suffered multiple tragedies. While the curse is likely just a legend, the Hope Diamond's dark history has added to its mystique. The City That Moved a Mile In 1876, the city of Wellington, Kansas, decided to move its entire town one mile to be closer to the railroad. Buildings were put on rollers and dragged to the new location. The whole town was relocated, including homes, businesses, and even the school. The move took several months, but it was considered a success. The strange decision to move a whole town was driven by the desire to be more connected to the growing railway system. George Washington's Whiskey Business After his presidency, George Washington became one of the largest whiskey producers in the United States. He established a distillery at his Mount Vernon estate, 
producing nearly 11,000 gallons of whiskey in its peak year. Washington's whiskey business was highly successful, and he employed over a dozen workers to run the operation. While Washington is mostly remembered for his military and political career, his venture into the whiskey trade shows he was a savvy businessman as well. The time Canada invaded Denmark. Over a flag. For decades, Canada and Denmark engaged in a light-hearted territorial dispute over a small uninhabited island called Hans Island. Both countries claimed the island, and each time one country's soldiers visited, they would remove the other's flag and replace it with their own. This war involved no violence, just the swapping of flags and sometimes a bottle of liquor left behind as a peace offering. The dispute was eventually resolved in 2022 with a peaceful agreement. The Pope who exhumed his predecessor. In 897 AD, Pope Stephen VI had the body of his predecessor, Pope Formosus, dug up and put on trial. The bizarre event, known as the Cadaver Synod, saw the rotting corpse dressed in papal robes and propped up in court to face charges of perjury and other crimes. Unsurprisingly, the dead Pope was found guilty and his body was mutilated and thrown into the Tiber River. The event remains one of the strangest and most macabre moments in papal history. The Brief Reign of Emperor Norton In the 19th century, a man named Joshua Norton declared himself Emperor of the United States. Though he had no real power, people in San Francisco humored him and he became a beloved local figure. Norton issued his own currency, which some businesses accepted, and he even declared the abolition of Congress. When he died in 1880, thousands attended his funeral. Though his reign was entirely in his imagination, Emperor Norton remains a legendary figure in San Francisco history. The Battle of the Bees. During World War I, in East Africa. British and German troops were fighting when a swarm of angry bees descended on the battlefield. Both sides were forced to abandon their positions as the bees attacked soldiers indiscriminately. The soldiers fled and the bees effectively ended the battle. The Battle of the Bees is one of the rare instances where nature intervened in a war, showing that sometimes even the smallest creatures can have a big impact on history. The Skeletons of Rupkund Lake. High in the Himalayas, Rupkund Lake is filled with hundreds of human skeletons. Discovered in 1942, the mystery of the Skeleton Lake baffled scientists for decades. The remains are thought to date back to the 9th century, and recent studies suggest the people died from a violent hailstorm. The unusual sight of so many skeletons in such a remote location has led to numerous theories, but the true story behind Rupkund Lake remains shrouded in mystery. The time a pig started a war. In 1859, tensions between the United States and Britain nearly escalated into war after an American farmer shot a British-owned pig that was rooting around in his garden. The incident, known as the Pig War, took place on San Juan Island, where both nations had territorial claims. Though both sides were ready for conflict, cooler heads prevailed, and the situation was resolved peacefully. The war ended without a single human casualty, just one unfortunate pig. The man who outlived a guillotine. During the French Revolution, Joseph Ignace Guillotin, who popularized the guillotine, narrowly escaped execution by his own invention. Though he advocated for its use as a more humane form of execution, he was later imprisoned and sentenced to death during the Reign of Terror. Guillotin's sentence was eventually commuted, allowing him to escape his own device. Despite his controversial legacy, the guillotine became a symbol of the French Revolution and was used for decades after his death. If these wild history facts blew your mind, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more fun content. Stay tuned for more surprises from the past.